Hey folks, this is Kalani. Welcome back to the Vault of the Incarnates Raid Guide for Normal and Heroic. In this video, we'll be taking down Razageth. This fight has three main phases and two intermission phases, so it's a long one. We're going to go through phase by phase to make it super simple. Whenever you're fighting Razageth, I would recommend your group stacks up for the most part to make various abilities much easier to deal with. You're going to have lots of little swirls to avoid in phase one. If you get hit, they stun you briefly, so dodge those when you can. The boss is also going to face a random player and shoot out a big laser with lightning breath. If you're all more or less stacked, you should know exactly where the breath is going to go, so just dodge to the side. Razagas electric scales also deal raid-wide AoE damage and additional random damage, so keep everyone topped off. And then the big combo you need to watch out for is static charge and hurricane wing. Static charge is a debuff on a few random players that deals damage over time, but when it expires, you drop a big AoE on the floor. You need this AoE for the next ability, hurricane wing. Hurricane Wing knocks everyone back far enough that you'll go off the platform very easily unless you stand in the AoE left behind by Static Charge. So the plan here is to drop all of your Static Charges on the edge of the room and make a safe zone behind your raid. When Hurricane Wing is coming, be sure you get knocked back into Static Charge, otherwise you'll go for a not so nice flight off the platform. Razageth also has a tank swap, Electrified Jaws, that deals damage over time and leaves a debuff on your tank, so tank swap to keep the stacks low, and then there's also Volatile Current. Every player gets a blue circle, you need to spread them out. After a short delay, you deal AoE damage and spawn an add. You need to interrupt or crowd control your add to get rid of it, so everyone should be able to deal with the add they spawn pretty quickly. You can use AoE stuns or fears or anything to help out other players. On Heroic, these adds have two charges, so you have to deal with two adds per player, so get creative with those AoE crowd controls. At 70% health, Razageth hops into the air and you're gonna start the first intermission. You need to split your raid into two groups with one tank, half your healers and half your DPS in each group. You then need to line yourself up to get knocked back onto the side platforms where you'll deal with some adds. Each platform has three big adds, you need to kill them one by one as a group. Each ad also has a shield. When you break that shield, a bunch of small adds are gonna spawn, group them up and AoE them down before moving on to the next ad. On heroic mode, when the acolyte small adds get too low health, health, they also gain a huge haste buff, so finish them off quickly, and you'll also have extra debuffs that you need to spread out with. Throughout the entire phase, Razageth will also be breathing lightning across both platforms, so when she's hovering above your platform, look for her trajectory and dodge the big lines of lightning. When your platform is clear, use the teleporter to the side to hop across to the third extra platform. When both platforms are done, or when the integrity of the vault gets down to 50%, you're going to enter phase 2. Razageth drops down and renews her assault. During this phase, you'll still have lightning strikes, so dodge the swirls. You've got electrified jaws, so keep tank swapping. Electric Scales will be dealing raid-wide AoE damage, and Volatile Current is in this phase as well, so spread out with the circles and interrupt or CC your adds that spawn. One new ability in this phase is Tempest Wing. The boss deals raid-wide AoE damage and releases a blue wave that pushes you back and deals damage. You want to run through the wave to reduce the damage you take. And then you've also got Fulminating Charge. A few targets are marked with a huge blue circle. After a short delay, everyone inside that circle takes a lot of damage, so take these circles out as quickly as you can and try not to hit anyone. They start really big, so you're going to be pushed for space. If someone does get hit, they'll get a smaller circle that they also need to take out. The ability only stops when no one gets hit, but every time someone gets hit, the circle gets smaller, so it does get easier. But the main ability in this phase is Storm Surge. Every player will get a positive or a negative charge debuff. Standing near the same debuff gives you a huge damage and healing buff, but standing near the opposite debuff deals damage. So you want to make two stack points, one positive, one negative, and everyone stacks on their designated marker. On Heroic Mode, standing with the opposite debuff deals AoE damage to everyone around you, so it's even more important to get to your stack point quickly. It's important to maximise your buffs here because the boss also gains a shield that you need to break through. While the shield holds, the boss deals ramping raid-wide AoE damage, and if you fail to break it in time, your entire raid will get a very nasty debuff that lasts for a long time, so you really need to stack properly and break that shield. When the Vault Integrity gets down to 0%, Razageth flies off again to start the second intermission. 
action. A big ad will spawn in the middle of the platform that you need to kill. The ad deals constant raid-wide AoE damage and will also periodically use ball lightning. It sends out waves of lightning orbs that deal damage and stun anyone who gets hit, so avoid them. The other main ability here is Stormbreak. The big ad teleports away, leaving a bunch of little ads behind. If those little ads get to the big ad, they heal it and give it a damage buff, so you need to stun them, slow them and AoE them down before they reach the big ad. Razageth will once again be doing her flybys across the platform, so dodge her lines of lightning when she's zooming across. On heroic mode, you'll get two ads in this phase, so split your DPS, make sure the small ads never reach the big ads, and you need to kill them at the same time. When one dies, the other gets a big buff, so kill them together. When you are done on this platform, you'll get knocked back to the main platform, so be sure to line yourself up properly and we're finally here, the last phase. You'll still have to deal with Tempest Wing, Fulminating Charge, Lightning Breath, Lightning Strikes and the Electric Scales. In addition to all of that, the boss uses Thunderous Blast on the tank. It's almost the same as Lightning Breath except it follows the tank with aggro, so no one else can stand on the tank during this ability. The ability also leaves a debuff that explodes for raid-wide damage, you can reduce the damage by reducing the damage of the actual thunderous blast, so be sure to use some good cooldowns and mitigation. You also have to tank swap, so be sure to keep the stacks low. The other main problem here is the raging storm. The edges of the platform are engulfed in a very nasty AoE, and it spreads towards the center of the platform, so as the phase drags on, you get less and less space to work with, so it's a race against the clock. Kill the boss before the AoE covers the entire play area. And then on heroic mode, there is another big circle debuff in this phase, so take that out of the group, but when it expires you pull the entire group to you, so get ready to reposition right after. So to recap all of this, in phase 1, stack up whenever you can, dodge the swirls, sidestep the lightning breath, drop the static charge behind your raid and get knocked back into it during hurricane wing, tank swap for electrified jaws, spread out with volatile current and deal with your own ad and keep everyone healed up. At the end of phase 1, split into two groups and get ready to be knocked onto the side platforms. Kill the big ads, kill the ads that spawn, dodge the boss's lightning breath and hop to the next platform when you're done. For phase 2, keep dealing with most abilities from phase 1 while running against the blue wave and run the big circles out to the side and try not to hit anyone. Mark two stack points for positive and negative buffs and get to your stack point quickly. DPS down the shield quickly as well. For intermission two, dodge the ball lightning, kill the small adds before they reach the big ad, and make sure you don't die. At the end, remember to get knocked back onto the main platform, and then for phase three, almost everything at once. Don't stack on the tank, tanks use cooldowns for thunderous blast, tank swap for the same ability, and just handle everything you've been doing up until now. On heroic mode, volatile current adds have two charges, so two adds per player. The small adds in intermission 1 are more annoying and you have circle debuffs to spread out with. You get two big adds in intermission 2, so be careful about that, and then a suck in debuff in the very last phase to really try and throw you off. And that's everything you should need to take down Razageth on normal and heroic, so that caps off this set of raid guides. I hope these guides helped you in your raid plundering adventures. So thanks for watching folks, good luck and have fun, and as always I will see you next time.